Hello, dear students. So today we will discuss about what is relative refractive index. So in my last lecture, I had discussed about the absolute refractive index. So absolute refractive index is just the comparison of the velocity of light in a given medium with respect to a vacuum or air or free space. But relative is you can take with respect to any two mediums, right? So whenever light goes from one medium to another, say any two medium, medium one to medium two, then the refractive index of one medium with respect to second medium will be called as a relative refractive index, right? So it is a ratio of refractive index of medium one with respect to medium two right so if i write it as like i say that the refractive index of medium two with respect to one that will be this is a medium refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one it will be described as ratio of n2 divided by m1 that is a refractive index of medium two divided by refractive index of medium 1 and n2 can be written as c divided by b2 as per the formula of the refractive index and also c remains same so n1 can be written as c divided by v1 so c get cancelled and i will left with v1 divided by v2 so this is either you if you want to write please uh, very much focused upon the symbol that I am using. So 1 and 2 that is refractive index of 2 medium 2 with respect to medium 1. So it is refractive index of medium 2 divided by refractive index of medium 1. Whereas in terms of velocity it becomes V1 divided by V2. Right? This is a two alternative forms. One in terms of refractive index. One in terms of velocity. You can also describe refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2. So this is a symbol to donate. So again this will be defined as ratio of n1 divided by n2. And this becomes C by V1 and C by V2. And this becomes V2 by V1. Right? So just if I see that. If I compare two equations, I can say that because the ratios are reversed, right? So I can say that 1 n2 is equal to 1 by 2 n1. It is one of the relations we get with respect to what is the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to 1 or refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2. So this is the relation we obtained. 1 n2 equals to 1 divided by 2 n1. So if I say that, for example, the refractive index of glass, this is the way to write refractive index of glass with respect to air, right? It will be defined as say 3 by 2. And if you want to represent refractive index of air with respect to glass, it will get reciprocal of this. This is the main implementation of this formula. So if you want to represent the refractive index of glass with respect to air, say it's 3 by 2. So of air with respect to glass, it becomes a reciprocal of 3 by 2. So this is a, how you can determine the values of refractive index with respect to a given medium. Right. And similarly, for example, For example, if you go for water with respect to air, it comes out to be 4 by 3. Or if you want to represent air with respect to water, it comes out to be 3 by 4. Reciprocal. Okay? And so these are single notations you must know about. Right? And if you want to say like this, water with respect to glass, this also you can represent. So this will comes out to be first that is refractive index of water 
divided by refractive index of glass n w divided by n glass and obviously these values are with respect to air and if you simply put up water that is 4 by 3 and glass that is 3 by 2 if you simply apply the mathematics it comes out to be 2 by 3 or we get with 8 by 9 so this is how you can apply the different formulations and of course such type of questions are quite important from one mark questions like MCQ's question you can get in the final board exams so such type of calculations you should get on might be these are not in your NCRD books but such type of questions you should practice these are can come in a one mark MCQ's questions so this is a very quite important concept and you need to very much focus on how to write a formula as per the symbols or as per the mediums so hope you have understood the concept of the relative refractive index so in my next lecture i will just correlate the significance of relative refractive index or absolute refractive index with the denser of rarer medium thank you